Discussing the issues uh, affecting the health department. Sir, yung mga, yung preparation ba ng assistance, uh, it's uh, being worked down the line. And uh, it took them about, how many? Almost two months ago. Uh, the the joint administrative order to guide the distribution of 1 million to uh, each of the 32 families na namatayan po. 32 po sila na namatayan. Uh, mas lang, uh, nung June 2. Well, I'm sorry to yes, drag you into this um, faraway province, but... Uh, no, sir. Sir, Bong, may sasabihin ka? May order? Nasabi ko na po kanina sa uh, sa Senado, Mr. President, na nagbigay na po ako ng uh, privilege speech. At nasabi ko na rin po lahat uh, from, ano, ayaw ni Presidente ng tagalan yung proseso. And in fact, sa military, pag merong patay na binibisita si mayor ay pinapahatid niya mismo doon sa bahay yung assistance teke pera lahat wala na wala nang panahon na asikasuhin ng mga namatayan yung pagki-claim ng cash assistance pero hindi po katanggap-tanggap dito ay napasa yung batas may uh, March 23 March 24 na itok uh, two months para buwain yung IRR. Kaya nagsalita na po ako kanina sa Senado. Sabi ko, alam kong hirap na hirap na po kayo, sir. Hindi naman kaya, hindi nyo kayang mag-isang gawin yan. Dapat naman po yung mga staff, mga ASEC, USEC, down to the directors, ay sana po asikasuhin nyo po yan. Kawawang-kawawa po yung... Hindi man natin nababalik yung buhay, hindi nababayaran ng na uh, cash assistance yung buhay nila. Pero konsuelo na lang po yung ibibigay na kaagad sa kanila. Yung gaya na ginagawa ni Mayor sa mga military, in three days, in one week's time, kahit pagdating pa lang dyan, pagdating nung bangkay sa Metro Manila, nandyan na yung cheque, nandyan na yung uh, cash assistance para sa lahat. Naka inaasikaso na... Ano. Well, uh, in that case... Uh, they are working under a if if they are not uh, liable I mean to say wala silang kasali kung nakasali yung mga yan hindi na rin natin pakinabangan yan whether they are really productive at this time or not for the simple reason that we have to move fast and if we have to move fast uh, I will sacrifice you even if you are not uh, really a laggard or some. Uh, mahirap kasi itong, itong, itong Pilipino hindi na natuto. Kakasabi ko lang, I, I count, when I give an order to, uh, for something to be done, Hindi ako nagbibilang ng araw, ah, buwan, nagbibilang ng ako ng araw. Uh, teamwork naman tayo. I understand your problem. And I know that you have a hard time because of, uh, you know, uh, there's the due process, the power to appoint, uh, carries with it the power to dismiss. And since uh, it's, it's an absolute thing uh, for uh, lack of... Uh, Total lack, uh, total loss of confidence. I'm removing them because uh, they are not functioning. So we're wasting money uh, paying for these idiots. 
Kalau laki pun nama nama Allah wajib masjid dunia. Kalau there are so many well intentioned and uh, well meaning Filipinos, doctors and all, who want to serve government to contribute to humanity. And we do not have to suffer. Itong mga to, alam pa nila na ginagawa, and nobody was asking who's doing the task today. Nobody was asking kung saan ba yung natapon yung, yung responsibility of uh, uh, preparing the implementing rules and regulations. That was what uh, they were uh, Uh, saying na wala. Ngayon, kung ikaw pa, I said, uh, just like me, you cannot run your own errands. Yung trabaho mo, hindi mo, kung ikaw na lang lahat dyan, that's, a, that's why it's called, you cannot run your own errands. Somebody has to do it for you. Because you cannot really do it beyond human comprehension kung matrabaho mo yung magpuntak pa sila nun. So why don't they just uh, go to the DILG and ask for help? Sana paano ba ninyo dinistribute ang pera pati yung tulong? E itong mga putang inan to, oh, wala, malayo masyado sa ano. I do not think they are really prepared to join government. That's a problem. I don't know what's going on here. We don't have any racist people in America. There's a riot going on. It's a riot or riot. There's a riot going on all over, and uh, seems to me that there is no end in sight. Nawutit na lang hindi tayo ganun, at natayming nga naman that the Filipinos are really law-abiding. Imagine if America to, how can you enforce the lockdown and the sequestration, uh, itong quarantine? Both it the longer no, so uh, we have to respond to the uh, problem besetting the, the the distribution of the assistance to them. We will comply, Mr. President, with your deadline. Sabi ko wag silang uwe tonight, tomorrow, uh, weekend, because you gave a three-day uh, deadline to distribute the checks. So I told them already. You do not go home. You have na identify na po yung 32 families. Although yung sabi sa akin kanina may mga conflicting claims, may dalawang asawa, may ganon. So sabi ko, eh count out mo na lang yun. Masaya yung bout ibig niyo. Tapos po yun din na nagkaroon ng severe critical based on your directive, sir. Bibigyan ng 100,000. Buhay naman sila, sir. Pero bibigyan mo na 100,000. Uh, on top of PhilHealth na nagbayad na ng mga 700,000 for each one of them sa critical and severe uh, cases, uh, Mr. President. Yung pinapatutukan ko po, yung 32 families na kailangan po yung ayuda nila na 1 million based on your directive, dapat yun i-release. Ilagay na, check it, padala, dalhin kung saan yung mga pamilya. Kasi nakakahiya talaga sa akin. Eh. Namatayan na nga, tapos nagpa-wardi-wardi yung mga tao ko na parang walang sense of urgency, sir. Yun ang talagang sama-sama po ng loob ko, Mr. President. That's why I, in the beginning, I said that all uh, uh, financial matters, be it uh, in the form of assistance, naibigay ko na, ano, nilipat ko yan sa uh, kay Galve sa military para madali. And, uh, well, uh, I do not want also to 
downgrade your department kasi mawala ang identity in the, in the national narratives of uh, what government is doing. Ako, anything, baski na sabihin mo, palamora, mahayaan ko na lang yan. Huwag lang korupsyon talaga. Hindi pwede korupsyon. Mag to two years na lang ako, tapos mag-iwan pa ako ng dirt dito sa so that son will just wait. The second uh, urgent, ano, yung delivery also of the assistance to the different indeed uh, the indigent uh, people yung sa uh, bukid uh, do we have the mechanism for this already? Uh, well, we can, but uh, should not jeopardize the, the lives of the soldiers who are there just guarding the... Kung okay na yan ang distribution. So if there's any problem, uh, Dell, but they say, Jungle base. You can. You can bring it out now. Bring it out now. Who may have problem with you? Mr. President, yung pinagtutuan na namin ng pansin ngayon yung repatriation para rin mga mga OFWs sa Pacificers dahil ayaw nating na ulit yung nangyari noong nakarambuan na naipon sila sa Manila at uh, may mabot pa ng isang buwan. So, itong nakaraang araw, nag-meeting nag kami nila uh, Secretary Bello, Secretary Anyo, Secretary Galwes, at saka yung ibang pang mga ahensya na involved dyan. At uh, napagkasundo namin, Mr. President, na pagka dumating yung OFW, <laughs> Pag, pag dumating yung AFW, maximum araw na manatili sa Manila ay limang araw lang. It could be less, but uh, the maximum is uh, five days. So, nandiyan na po yung aming uh, sistema. Uh, okay na yung ating mga testing. We have uh, enough uh, testing facilities now uh, all over the Metro Manila. And uh, kayang-kaya na natin yung darating ngayon. According to... Uh, Ang Secretary Bellio, mayroon pang mga 42,000. So siguro ang gagawin na, namin nila Secretary Galvez at Secretary Anyo ay kontrol lang natin yung, ano, kontrol natin yung pagdating. Siguro 1,200 a day. 1,200 a day. Kung medyo rumuwag-luwag pa, we can increase that to 1,500 or 2,000. And then uh, para mabilis yung ating uh, processing. Ngayon, Mr. Uh, President, uh, mariban sa OFW at saka seafarers, meron din, marami din tayong mga Pilipino na nasa uh, abroad. Hindi sila workers, mga returning Pilipinos na naipit, mga turista na naipit doon sa iba ibang bansa, estudyante, uh, at saka yung mga permanent resident ng Pilipinas na mga dayuhan, but they have the, they have the homes there. Kasama na ho yun sa ating ipaprocess. So, pero separate sila doon sa OFW dahil yung OFW at saka seafarers tayo sa sagot sa kanilang mga testing yung yung ano yung uh, il, yung uh, overseas Filipinos na babalik ay sa kanilang gastos po yon Mr. President. So uh, asahan po ninyo na nitong darating na araw ay maayos na to smooth na itong ating pagano ng processing ng mga OFWs. Yes, uh, uh, I I'd just like to know if there is somebody uh, on our end, in Governo, uh, doing the orchestration there, para ma, ano sila, that there's a sense of order in their coming back, calibrated para hindi tayo maipit. 
Yes, Mr. President. Ang, ang arrangement ngayon, yung uh, dole, yung, yung labor attache doon sa ibang bansa, nakikipag-coordinate sa DFA. Para pag bago pa lang dumating dito, yung pag, bago pa umalis, alam na namin kung sino sila. Yung pagdating dyan sa airport, nandyan din yung ating uh, task group, uh, one-stop one shop sa airport, under, uh, under Secretary Yano. Mahigpit po ito, Mr. President. Magaling itong si Yusek Tiano. Ka-appoint lang namin ito. Nakarang araw at sa lagang hindi natin yung tulogan nandun sa palagi. So okay na po yung ating uh, like orchestrate niyan. So DFA, yung uh, Libor Atasye, mag-coordinate sila din. Punta rito sa DFA yan, tapos uh, kasama na rin ang dole. And then ilagay natin doon sa one-stop shop para pagating nila, alam nila kung mga pangalan, alam nila kung saan po punta ang probinsya para mabilis na yung ating monitoring. That's good. Uh... Kaya pala, Mr. President, yung inyong uh, order na ipadala, ipadala natin sa probinsya yung 24,000 oh, po. Oh, okay. Okay na po. As, as of end of uh, June of, of May, yan na po ang uh, naipadala natin sa mga probinsya. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, the day that we learned about the flight of the returning overseas Filipino, we were able to implement a solution for them to be back home. Yeah. This should be our number of worries because they are Filipinos. So, I'd like to uh, I'd like to commend you, uh, General Galvez, for uh, uh, giving your heart in this endeavor. Alam mo nung <clears throat> maliit pa kami, sir. Bahay namin, malapit lang rin dito. It was the last house facing the Times Beach. E, ito, ano ito, kinain lang ng erosyon eh. Beach ito noon. Uh, dinner time. Uh, alam mo, ito mga anak ng politiko. Saya mo siya hindi. Gagapangin ka. Nagkapangin ka talaga ng panahon. So ako naman, uh, ako yung pinaka-maingay, bugiro sa pamilya. Sabi ko, gusto ko, ako, governor rin. Tapos itong si, itong mga kapatid ko, mga ulol. Ako, mayor, ganun. Pinara kami ng tatay ko, sabi niya, shut up. Sabi niya, kung magpasok ka ng politika at peke yung loob mo, when you want to be just called the governor, yan ang gusto mo tawagin ka governor. Maligaya ka na niya. You know, do not enter politics if you do not have the heart for the people. Sabi ng tatay, kung kita mo ako, gisingin ako dito ng madaling araw, may problema. Gisingin ako ng municipal mayors, kay may heart attack yung barangay captain. So, day, day at a time or night, sabi niya, you must, uh, I said, uh, be ready to serve. And you cannot serve ang matagalan kasi papagurin ka, maburn out ka. At kami noon, wala pa naman masyadong hotel. Ang mga municipal mayor, lalo ng oriental, wala pang road. Well, it was built during my father, pero walang road pa. Magsakay ka pa ng barko. Pagdating dito, sa bahay pa magpunta kay Ano yung bahay namin maliit? Hindi naman kasing liit, pero maliit talaga. 
And we have to take up and transfer to the room, sleep on the floor in my mother and father's bedroom because inap inappropriate nila mga pamilya ng ganun nun ang politika sa ano. So, ay, yung parang yung rapor ko sa tao went beyond my father and is able to see. Kaya sabi ko kung itong ganito, kung wala ka talagang pagmamahal sa Pilipino, walang mangyari. This is not uh, an easy job to do. It requires you to think, think, and think, and find ways to solve the problem. Uh, maybe not here, but in some place, when you die, there is a special place for you. In heaven, if you are as good as me, but if you are bad, the hottest place in hell, nandoon uh, yung mga tao na tarantado, I'm sure I, I'm not going there. Kung kasalanan ko lang, mabae ko lang. Hindi man ako nalakaw, hindi man ako. Kaya sabi na, you have to love the people whom you serve. Now, uh, uh, let's go to Secretary Anyo. Sir, uh, how, how's, the, how's the distribution? Is it good? Kung ang gusto ko lang mga tanong, sir, yung nagdoble ang bayad, pati yung kinaltas na pera sa gobyerno, be it the mayor or uh, the barangay officials task to do it. Uh, anong... Opo, Mr. President, uh, tuloy-tuloy po yung pagkuha namin ng mga pangalan at pagkaso sa mga barangay officials na ito. Uh, 155 uh, barangay captains and officials na po yung aming iniimbilisahan. At ang tatlong po ay nai-refer na namin sa ombudsman. Maganda po rito, marami nang nagsasalita. Kasi po lahat ng mga nakatanggap ay ipinaposte namin yung kanilang mga pangalan sa mga barangay halls para makita ng mamamayan kung sino talaga yung mga nakatanggap. At dito lumabas na yung mga kamag-anak, asawa, membro ng pamilya ng kapitan na hindi naman dapat tumanggap. So lahat mo ito ay uh, kakasuhan namin sapagkat uh, nabag po sa batas yung kanilang ginawa. Sa unang transpo ay halos kumpleto na. Almost 99% na yung ating na-distribute at piniprepare po ng DSWD yung pangalawang trans. At uh, unahin po natin yung 5 milyon na hindi nakatanggap uh, sa huling ulat po ay 4 million 94,311 names na ang naisubmit ng ating uh, LGUs. Uh, sila po yung bibigyan ng priority. At uh, nakahanda naman na din po sa second trans tutulong yung armed forces at Philippine National Police sa pagdidistribute. At ang gagamitin naman karamihan dito ay uh, ATM Payment Scheme. Kaya baka mas madali ang uh, pagpapatupad ng second tons. Sa so, tuloy-tuloy po, Mr. President, yung pag-iimbestiga natin at uh, maraming pangalang dumarating sa amin. Yung mga, ang sabi ko nga po, yung mga kapitan na inilagay yung kamag-anak, membro ng pamilya, doon sa uh, listahan ng mga nakatanggap, pati na rin po yung mga nagdoble. Tuloy-tuloy po. However you look at it, it's still malversation. Once public money reaches your hands for a specific purpose, tapos na wala. And even donations during typhoons or uh, calamities, 
Pagka may tao nagpunta sa barangay captain sa mayor na mubigay ng pera, pag tinanggap mo yan, becomes public funds already. Doon sa kunin mo sa purpose. For what purpose? If it's given for a private purpose, fine. So kung sabihin mo, tulong para sa tao sa napinsala sa bagyo, gano'n, ah, wala. Public funds yan. Sigurado. Secretary Anyo, one question lang po. Maraming nagtatanong sa Senado during the hearing. Yung sa motor, mga nag, uh, kamag-anak naman sila, mag-asawa o mag-anak, uh, ano pong desisyon ninyo dito. Kasi nahirapan sila ngayon, yung iba, mag, nagbabike na lang po sila. Motor yun ang medyo maraming gusto na basta ka mag-anak, anak, o magkasama naman po sila sa sa bahay nila, papayagan ba silang mag-angkas? Kasi hirap talaga sila ngayon sa transportation. Walang jeep, walang bus. Minsan naglalakad na lang po daw yung iba. Uh, yes, naiintindihan po natin yung hirap. Pero sa base po sa panuntunan ng uh, DOH, yung minimum health standards na physical distancing, napakahirap i-practice sa uh, motor. At kahit sabihin natin na sila ay mag-asawa o magkapatid, pero ang virus ay walang pinipili kung mag-asawa. Kaya nga kahit po sa bahay, dapat may physical distancing pa rin. Kasi ah, hindi talaga garanti na kung magkapatid o mag-asawa ay parehas kayong negative. Lalo na kung pupunta kayo sa opisina, pag-uwi ninyo, hindi natin alam kung may virus ng dala yung isa, magkasama sila sa motor. The next day, yung asawa naman nung napunta sa kabilang opisina at nahawa, So, ito naman po ay hindi forever. Darating naman tayo sa bagong normal uh, kung saan may mga zero cases talaga na pwede natin pong ilaw. Pero sa community quarantine natin ngayon, pwede natin makita sa data analytics kung saan pa may mga cases. Mahirap kasi mag-gamble mag na uh, komo mag-asawa pwede nang mag, uh, mag magkadikit sila, lalo na sa publiko. Actually, sa loob ng bahay, wala po tayong magagawa kung sila ay mag-violate ng physical distancing. Pero sa publiko, napakahirap makita ng iba na pinapayagan nating magkadikit sila at uh, nagpapatupad tayo ng, ano, ng physical distancing at saka pagsusunod ng mask. Napakahirap po talaga. Pero health, health po pinag-uusapan natin, eh. health risk. Hindi yung convenience, hindi yung mag makakatipid sila. Pero buhay eh. Pag uh, nahawa yung isa, sigurado mahawa yung isa, it is costlier kung mamamatay sila. So sa ngayon po, yan ang stand namin ng DOH habang wala pa tayo sa bagong normal o habang hindi pa natin talaga nasisiro yung cases ng lugar, uh, hanggang ngayon ay eh, yun muna ang ipapatupad natin. Uh, ako, sang ayon ako na mahirap talaga ngayon. Uh, we are... Uh, in hard times. Uh, I don't know if we can go back to the same old uh, style natin on. But uh, um, ang mukha ko na lang kadikit palagi sa CNN, especially when it comes to the doctors who will be talking. Uh, the earliest that we can have, not, not have, but the earliest that uh, uh, they're in the final stage of testing, ang Moderna, uh, it's a Moderna, it's a U.S., uh, pero it's backed up by several. Mukhang mauna ito sila. And say this, eh, mid-summer, mid-summer available na. But they can only produce 200 million. And that is only good for America, something like 3.4, uh, 3.314 million. Sila ko lang pa yung Well, kung ibigay nila, if they will uh, share the uh, 
yung technology, give it the, uh, for free to everybody. Pare pareho lang kasi tayo sa gobyerno. We are just employees, all of us. We are workers of government. Kaya ako yung pinapatanggal ko yung Your Excellency. <laughs> the word itself is uh, it's a burden to yung paggamit no? the President, Rodrigo Duterte, or Cardinal tapos Archbishop of Manila. Yun ang Your Excellency, Your Excellency. Nung umpisa yan doon sa ano, nung nag-mayor ako, tapos yung ni-retain, hindi pinalitan lahat ni Cory, they retain about one, two, three, four. Yung hindi masyado partisan, pero puro mga manoy. Kawatan talaga. They would address me, ah, uh, Your Excellency, do not call me Your Excellency. I am not Your Excellency. You call me Mayor. Kaya Presidente ayako, and I appreciate it more. Just call me Mayor. O mula nagdagan yung Presidente, just a title. After all, I said we are all workers of government. I do not mention Malacanian in public. I just say, my office. And I say, we are workers of government and we have to do something about it. Uh, I'd like to, this time, shift uh, from a conference with the cabinet members together with Senator Bongo. Uh, he is here because he's complaining to me And I said, what is your stand? I said, I'm going to deliver a privileged speech because this is something which uh, uh, boils down into a public interest. Di sinasabi ko na noon na madalian to. Itong mga assistants dapat dumating kasi nga pagkain ang iba. E kung pagkain, Mabahaw na yan, mapapanis na. Kaya pati mga bigas, sabi ko, it must be delivered forthwith. Or, another word for that is immediately. Ang nangyari ho, uh, dito sa release ng uh, namatay at nagkasakit, at yung one million sa namamatay, iutos ito sa bayanihan after. At bakit, uh, you know, I'd like to also, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not imposing a duty on Congress. I would just like to remind you na every day, you require the executive department to render a report. Every day yan. So dapat nakita na rin ninyo, nasilip na rin ninyo, bakit wala yung tulong sa namatay pati nagkasakit. Parang assistance, in a form of assistance. Yung one million para sa namatay, lalo na yung mga doktor, hindi dumating. Eh, tinanong ko ngayon si uh, Dr. Doki, the Secretary of Health. Sabi niya, he's been reminding his staff uh, every time that they meet na to hurry up the itong tulong ngayon, ang sa speech ni Ata ni Bong, sinabi mo na you are recommending for the house staff. 
Sabi ko sa president ko, ayaw nilang magtrabaho. Marami pang gustong magtrabaho. Oh, ayaw nilang magtrabaho. You know, putang ina, dalawang buwan itong leching ito. I mean, can just imagine two months. Tapos ang sekretary ng binubugbog araw-araw, kasi wala siyang gawa. Sino po lang paggawain ni Doki dito? Ang Bureau of... Ano? Sino magawain niya? Pag-gawain niya, yung Department of Health. Hindi yung Bureau of Fire. Saan mo pala siya maghingi ng tulong? Where do we get the resources? Both money and uh, the human workers there. Sa kanyang opisina. At po, dalawang buwan, this is totally unacceptable to me. Now, I am asking uh, Secretary Duque to form a new team that would focus on the uh, immediate delivery of the assistance that should be given to those uh, who were yung namatay tapos yung nagkasakit. And I expect it within 24 hours. Kaya kung wala pa kayong trabaho, mas lalo na. Buti sana kung maabutan ng a new team who will take over. Nung meron silang makita ang trabaho ninyo, and from there, they would just uh, add their uh, they would add, uh, the other uh, kaalaman and an expertise and then directly uh, deliver the assistance immediately. Uh, Secretary Duque, you have the full authority to assemble a team. It may not really be from your office or from the department itself. You can get uh, persons of known honesty just officina mo, even temporary, just for uh, a, a new designation, just to take care of these uh, uh, funds, which ought to be in the hands of the intended beneficiaries by this time. So, dito tayo sa Uh, corruption still. Yung lahat na tinanong ko kasi si General Anyo ngayon, yung lahat na nakasala, those who malverse, you know, money, money intended for the public purpose, pag nandiyan na sa kamay ninyo yan, it's malversation. Maski na donation, may nag-donate dyan sa iyo, tapos tinanggap mo, alam mo, i-donate sa mga tao intended for fire victims, flood uh, victims, o ano-ano. Pag tinanggap mo yan, on that condition, upon that kind of agreement, once you accept the money and you misspent it or misappropriate it, It is malversation. And kung barangay captain ka, one of the things there is uh, you are barred from holding office forever. In addition to the crime that you have committed. Kaya wala kayong maasahan tulong sa akin. For after all, did I not warn you earlier? na huwag itong pera na itong inappropriate ng Congress binigay para i-implement natin, huwag ninyong look, 
no cogen, no, 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 Talagang habulin ko kayo. And you'll go to jail. Para may example ako sa panahon kung wala na ako dito pagka-presidente. Ako yan. Yan, serving 25 years. Serving 15 years in prison. Those are the corrupt guys. Dito sa taas, mga mar marunong ito. Pero mayroon akong last week na dinismiss na sino ganito mo? Uh, sa Department of Defense. Uh, Office of the Rwanda siya. Office of the Civil Defense. Siya Siya yung tigabili. Siya yung purchaser. 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 Tapos siya rin yung... Uh, doing what he wants with the money. Sabi ko, hindi ninyo pera yan. Huwag ninyong gastusin na hindi yun. Kayo naman, yung mga scam ngayon, mga mask, mag-order kayo through online sos Mario Sep wag kayong mag do not go for that kind of shit yung magbili-bili kayo online mag mask tapos ang kaka-text niyo in uh, is from Pampanga from Abra Sama sila magkuha ng mas gano'n. Wala nga dito sa Manila. Dito kayo sa Manila, sa mga hold-upper. Pwede pa. Pwede kayong bumili. Mayroon pa yung putang in-stock ng mga animal na yan. Wala dito. So be careful about lukuhan ito ngayon. No, um, the best is uh, give me the goods, I pay you. Or better still, give me the goods, I will examine it. If it is really the one that I ordered, then I will pay you. Wag kayong bumili ng mga online online, lalo na magpadala ka ng pera. Uh, I'd like to address this to everybody. Mga kababayan, do not fall for that thing online online. It has never been perfected. And all the scams that man could think of that they can perpetuate on the innocent public. Pinag-aaralan nila yan. Ang iyo dyan is, deliver mo, tapos tignan mo yung maskara. Kung hindi isang ayon sa in-order mo, Papasokin mo sa loob yung nag-order ng mga nag, 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 nagdala ng mask. Talian mo. Pagkagabi, maghanap mo ng sakyan, ihulog mo sa Pasig River. Mamili ka. Maraming tulay dyan. Alas stress na madaling araw, wala na duwadaan dyan. Baski anong ihulog mo, wala nang makialam dyan. Itong mga animal na ito, they take advantage of the misery of people. Kung ako, yan ang gawain ko sa inyo. Taliang ko yung paa ninyo, pati kamay ninyo. Saksakan ko yung bunga nga ninyo, yung midjas ninyo mabaho. Limang araw na walang laba. 
Tapos taliang ko ng panyo. Hiulo kita sa Pasig. So, yung... Yung mga ano, nandito na naman tong mga ano... Gusto lumabas. Basta kung lumabas ka, if you are those allowed to go out, do not forget the... Yung alkohol mura naman yan, huwag ma marami. Isang tulo na that would... Bibang... Akin na lang ito kay... Maganda. Ganon lang yan, o. Oh. Wabong, o. Oh. Three drops. Uh, tsaka, for, uh, for all government uh, workers, lalo na yung cabinet members and the senators and congressmen. and the bureaucracy, bureaucratic uh, echelons. Sinabi ko sa, I said this when I was bago pa kong mayor. Uh, panahon sa lukuhan, hindi naman talaga natatanggal yan. There's always a, a, a sucker born every minute. Huwag kayo magpaloko, lalo na yung magamit ng pangalan ko. Kasi yung magamit ng pangalan ko, sigurado, palpak yan, racket yan, krimen yan. Kasi kung negosyo mo uh, tama, walang problema, eh bakit gamitin mo pangalan ko? So, if they go to my son or sons, or my daughter, si Inday, pero, you know, pero just to emphasize the point. Maski sinong magdala na Duterte siya, do not entertain. Sabihin mo, ma'am, sir, Pwede ho kayong lumabas. We are not allowed to entertain you. And whatever you are asking from us, it has to be denied. Even if it is meritorious, even if it is correct on all fours, hindi ho kami dapat mag-entertain. Huwag na naman niyo pagalitan. Para hindi na mga pera. May na pwede ako kayong umalis. That's the... Kasi si Mayor hindi talaga nakikaalam kailanman. Kailanman hindi ako nakikaalam lang. Wala nga papilis tumadaan sa table ko, either di sa bahay o sa opisina. Basta transaksyon na pera ako. mga reclamation, mga billion-billion MRT. Kita mo itong land registration. Nag-away-away na sila kasi 1,000 uh, hectares uh, maala amari tayo na ito. Uh, eh, reclamation, marami ng away. Pera eh. 1,000 reclamation, that's billions and billions. But in the uh, process, you, you, you will kill the entire Manila, Metro Manila. Mahirapan na ang tao doon. And even the canals would no longer have the egress and ingress of water. Let alone the absence of uh, to water treatment. Na on the side, uh, I will be starting tomorrow. I think that the papers are here with me now. I will review the 
contracts that uh, are proposed by the government panel to the Ayala and uh, Pangilinan Consortium. Na ako okay na ako, basta uh, mabawi lang ng pera ang tao. Even uh, in installments, uh, ano ninyo, but you have to make some amends. Uh, nagkalma ako kasi whether I like it or not, water is very important in our lives. So, okay na lang ako. But uh, yung nawala sa tao, kung ano ang nawala sa kanila, that has to be uh, paid back. Uh, whether in installments over a period of years, but you have to return the money to the people. Wala na akong, yun lang. Okay na ako, and you can have uh, your contracts if it is to your liking. But if it's not, then we proceed with another phase, which is really filing of the cases. Uh, ako naman, I, in the process, I was very, well, of course, adamant and uh, said a few cuss words, of which I apologize. Sa galit ko yun, eh. uh, naloko ang tao, ilang tao, at uh, parang, I'm willing to forget it. Just, just give us a contract that is uh, fair and uh, also a fair of the return of the money of the people. An example is yung water treatment. You started to collect 1957. It is now very late in the day. And there is no, and still, I don't know if we are collecting. That has to be returned to the people. Equity and uh, uh, fairness requires that uh, we should return the money to There is a letter from uh, Congressman from Cebu. Not Cebu, both province of Cebu and Mr. President. Ah, uh, get it down, he manifesto strongly supporting Governor Gwen Garcia and the Provincial Board of the Province of Cebu in their effort to allow and regulate passengers if motor vehicles are allowed well. Alam mo, for one, mga Cebuano, uh, Nanalo ako sa Cebu by binigyan ninyo ako ng boto na makalilisang. You supported me to the hill. And one of the factors that uh, gave me the victory in the presidential electorate. But uh, alam mo, much as I would like really to accommodate Governor Garcia and the board members, here's what I can say. If I begin to give an exemption to one, which because I will open myself to charges of uh, anti-graph law, giving another an undue advantage. There's a provision there which is. There is the third sentence. 
giving undue advantage to the other, to the prejudice of another, giving advantage to a person to the prejudice of another in a matter of nonito. So, pag binigyan ko kayo ng exemption, and the others will follow. Hindi nga siguro magdemanda. But others, not from government, no want to just test the capacity of a president of breaking the law. Kung i-demanda talaga ako, my prosecutor, I said before I became mayor, I think may tama ako dyan. That's one. I go to prison. Second is uh, uh, discriminatory, if at all, because the discretion ko is used to excuse one from the uh, the, the, the burden of the law that is placed on another. Pag excuse ko to na talagang hiritan ako ng kaso, sigurado yan. Now, or after I go out of the office. Ang tinatakot lang naman nila sa akin na ipakulong nila ako sa um, International Court of Justice, Court of uh, Criminal Court. Eh, hindi mo na una niwala dyan. Pero dito, Philippine uh, setting, talagang mayayari ako. <laughs> if somebody will file a case, yan ang mahirap sa prayer ninyo. Gusto ko Alam ko, hirap kayo. Sabi ko nga, asawa mo yan. Alang-alang ipaangkas mo sa ibang lalaki. Kasi maghawak sa katawan yan. Mind you, kayo nagasakay, nagaangkas naga ng motor. Huwag kayong maghawak dito sa side lang, yung sa upuan magganong. You have to place your hand around the guy tapos uh, yeah, hindi naman mag-embrace but uh, eh, para hindi ka mahulog at yung bump ganun ma kasi ang katawan niya magbabalance-balance yan kasama ka na kung saan yung katawan niya sabayan mo now you are I'm sure that many are uh, not so happy with their wife embracing the uh, motorcycle driver. Okay. The law is hard, but it is the law. Wala talaga akong mulo. Itong akin po, hindi, it's not my discretion. Just because I'm the president, does not mean that I can ignore the laws of the land and favor. Wala akong, wala akong ipagmalaki na sa gano'n. Yung mga cabinet members ko, hindi ko makilala yan. Hindi ko makilala. Except for Secretary Doki, I remember I was at the lobby of, at the entrance of, uh, a e, judge si Angrila, tapos somebody whispered to you, nandiyan si Mayor, then luapit ka sa akin. Well, I'm secretary ko, so I know. You are very popular, sir, sa TV. Hindi ko alam hanggang ngayon. Hindi, naka, hindi ka na naghinto, maging TV. <laughs> I, I am sorry, uh, I said, it's not your fault. And I'm not ready to let go of people na lang walang tatrabaho talaga. Even if they commit mistakes, as long as it is an honest mistake, sabihin namin na porsi yan or 
Walang problema sa akin. Uh, I can live with it. Here is a report from uh, Archie Gamboa, PNP chief. Uh, ang PDA, pati ang polis ng... PDA po, PDA. PDA, ano itong PDA? PDA, Philippine National Police Drug Enforcement Group. Ah, uh, okay. PDEG, uh, ang Bulacan PNP Provincial Office successfully telegraphic mo nito, uh, successfully uh, sabi natin, arrested uh, in a by-bust operation in Barangay Lea, Marilao, Bulacan on June 4 today at 3 p.m. Suspects were Yuenkai, Chinese national, Angela Tulio, Len Tulio. Uh, the hall consists of 63 boxes of shabu, uh, which uh, weighed, when weighed, it could uh, amount to 756 kilos worth 5,140,800. Uh, Mr. President, 5, 5 billion po. 5, 5 billion. billion and 140 million. 5 billion, 140,800. It's 5.1 billion, one of the highest. Kayo mga human rights, Makinig kayo, ha? Makinig mo. Potang ina ka, makinig kayo sa akin. Ang Pilipinas, hindi talaga na hinto. We are already a transshipment at saka yung senyalosa, yung dreaded gang ng South America uh, na dya senyalosa sa lugar ng uh, Mexico yan pumapasok na dito. Kita mo, 5.1 billion. Malaki ito. E, e, e. Tang ina ninyo, hindi matas itong... Sabi ko ganito, 5.1 billion, it will destroy my country. Because the 5.1 billion of Shabu will be consumed by millions of people. Tapos kayo dyan, kung may mamatay, may namatay na polis ko, wala lang man kayong... And many policemen have died along the way in our journey to fight drugs. Isa yan sa pinangako ko. So, despite of the pandemic, the police are working. So, kita mo ang mga police ko nagtatrabaho. So, unmindful of the fact that they can get the COVID by their dedication. So, officially, I would like to Congratulate the PNP, Archie, Archie Gawa, General, Tagadabaw to. Uh, you have my snappy salute. I will talk to you when I go back to Manila. Hindi talaga mahinto itong... Whoever said that... Uh, Ang siyabo na every day you look at the crawler, yung tumatakbo niya yan sa TV yan. You call that a crawler. Kokrol, kamang crawl. Gapang. Kamang is bisaya, gapang pala. Pero ang bisaya, kamang, may ibang... Uh, <laughs> Mga mang ogwan. Mga 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 
toki na pipe tapos idemanda ninyo ako ng ano ng human rights ikaw trillioner Maligaya ka sa nangyari sa buhay ng Pilipino ngayon. Puro ka lang daldal. Always complaining. And yet your kapwa mo sundalo nagtatrabaho. Namista mo nagtatrabaho. Ikaw, you rebelled against government almost destroying the republic been a senator, you did nothing but to glorify yourself. Now you are criticizing about steel, Tondroga. It's 5.1 billion, and you might want to check it out. What I'm saying is, aside from the NPA, uh, Isang problema talaga natin ang droga. And of course, Abu Sayyaf, the terrorist here in Mindanao. Marami yan, mga maote, mga splinter group, all engaged in illegal activities. May sabagay, ito, tatlo, na ano, siguro buhay ito, kaya wala mong sinabi patay. Pero, Okay lang. Okay lang. Kaya mga tao talaga na, na hindi rin matanggap na konsensyang mamatay. Pero ako, sabi ko nga, if you destroy my country distributing 5.1 billion of Cebu all throughout the country, I, I will kill you. I will kill you and I will... I mean, say that itong mga Chinese, I'd like the Chinese government to know that there is uh, so many ways of fighting corruption. But one of them that is really pieces me to no end will be those things that it destroys my country. The human resource. Ang mga bata, ang mga anak namin. Ninyo. Sa awa ng Diyos. Kaya, remember, when you go out, mask. And ito, mura naman ito. Hindi naman ito ano, because siguro mag ano kayo, isang, eh, tignan mo, one, two, three, four. That is enough to kill the germs. We have to wait for the vaccine. Mga, mga kapatid ko, iksuon na na ako, maghintay talaga tayo tayo sa vaccine. Sabi ko sa inyo, walang vaccine, walang eskwela. Nandito, nandito, sayang nandito. But uh, uh, Secretary Brunes is insisting that there should be an alternative there. And she has a very good program for that. Parang teleconferencing. How, uh, the technology is good. I do not know if we are ready for that. Meaning to say, if we have enough uh, of those uh, na gamitin para sa the whole of the Philippines. We are talking of students, uh, 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 it's millions. Meron ba siya? But if she has, or if we can afford it, we'll buy it. And she can proceed with the, her uh, novel uh, idea of how he, she, the children can continue with their education. So, ganun na lang, uh, I, I don't know it's the next time that I'll talk to you, but uh, I, I, you will re hear from me from time to time. Maraming salamat po. Inyo lahat.